Florida is in the final hours before Hurricane Milton makes landfall. The state bracing for what could be the storm of the century. The National Hurricane Center says Milton spawned at least 10 tornadoes in the south central part of the state. This one caught on video. We are told it crossed over I-75. And while time is running out to evacuate, Florida's governor says there is still time to get to shelter. There is high confidence that this hurricane is going to pack a major, major punch and do an awful lot of damage. Let's check back in with our meteorologist, Melissa Nord. Any updates on Milton's path or strength? Well, really, the big picture update today is that we're noticing it's encountering a slight bit of wind shear, so the max winds have come down a little bit. But the timing of landfall has actually shifted a little bit sooner. So yesterday at this time, we were looking at a landfall around maybe 1 or 2 in the morning. Now it looks like that will happen before midnight. So in fact, if we look at this loop of the radar and satellite, you can see that eye wall wobbling only only about 40 miles offshore from Bradenton and also Sarasota. So we've also got on the eastern side of this system. Jonathan and Jennifer mentioned all the tornadoes that were spawned earlier today. Many tornado warnings are still in effect, and these are all of the tornado reports from just today alone. You can see we had a couple near Lee County, Fort Myers area, but also a big cluster over closer to the Treasure Coast. So a lot of tornadoes came with that, and we can see that with landfalling tropical systems. The eye itself, the eye wall, will start to move on shore after 6 o'clock tonight. After 6 or 7 o'clock, we'll see that starting to pivot on shore. Now on the northern edge of this, a whole lot of steady rainfall, high risk of flooding through the overnight tonight along that I-4 corridor well inland. Again, landfall likely still as a category three hurricane early tonight, and then it will move up into the Orlando area by first thing tomorrow morning. Now on the northern edges of the system, we are expecting some minor impacts in parts of Georgia. We'll talk about that and our local weather here in North Georgia and your full forecast. Jonathan.